Hi, my name is Sorsa and I'm a nutritionist and healthy lifestyle blogger and fitness coach from Ireland. And today's video is a really quick workout that you can do at home. You don't need any equipment. All you need is maybe a mat. If you don't have a mat, that's also fine. We're going to do a quick warm up and some cardio. Then we're going to move on to some ab work and then we're going to do a nice stretch at the end. And this workout is under 10 minutes, so it's really quick as well. We're going to start with our head going from left to right, then up and down, left, right, up, down, then we're going to do semicircles each side from left to right to loosen up our neck. Now we're going to roll our shoulders forward, four, five, six, seven, and then we're going to go back for eight. Really bring those shoulders up to your ears. Now we're going to reach up and roll down. Make sure you roll down nice and slowly and get each vertebrae in. It doesn't matter if you don't touch the ground, that's not the purpose. The purpose is to warm up your back. So you want to make sure you're, you're reaching up and rolling down. Now we're going to kick forward and back. Keep it nice and low, we're just warming up. So forward and back. You can hold on to a wall or a chair to keep your balance. Now we're going to go down into a lunge and bring that knee up. You can also bring the arms into this. So we're going to do four each side. Now we're going to get increase that heart rate. So we're going to just do some jogging on the spot. Eight counts. A warm up is so important, it not only increases your blood flow, the cardio, but also warms up those muscles. We're going to go into some burpees now. If you can't jump or have an injury, just reach up and go onto your toes instead of jumping, but you can still do these. Make sure when you're going out, you're going out the whole way into a plank. And that's our warm up. We're going to start on our back and we're going to do some crunches. So hands behind your head, back pushed into the mat or the floor so you shouldn't be able to get your hands underneath your back and your three feet on the floor. We're going to do 10 of these. It doesn't matter how high you get up, it's more important that you have correct posture. So make sure your back is pushed into the mat and also try and keep your shoulders relaxed try not to tense up your shoulders and breathe breathing is very important now we're going to put the two soles of our feet together and reach back and reach through our legs we're going to do five of these Five. Now keep your legs where they are and put your hands back behind your head and do some five setups with your legs in the same position. I find this position really good to open your hips, so if you have tight hips, this is a great one. And it's also strengthening the abs. Now we're going to put our legs in tabletop and we're going to put same arm, same leg, toe taps. Once again, make sure your back is pushed into the mat. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed, not all tensed up. 
we're going to do 10 of them. If you want to make it more difficult, you can lift your shoulders off the mat. And we're going to do 10 more, but this time we're going to turn our legs out. So that same position we had where two soles of our feet were together. It's always good to do similar exercises and um, changing one specific element. So the specific element we're changing in this one is we're turning our legs out. So we're turning our hips out. Your knees should be facing out the legs for this one. Now legs straight up and you're going to lower them down. It's the main point of this exercise is to make sure your pelvis doesn't help. So that space in your back should not be there. If that means your legs are only coming down a few centimeters, then that's fine. You really, really will feel this in your lower abs. Now you're just going to go in circles, keeping your legs together, keeping your back close to the ground, and do three both ways, so three to the right and three to the left. Now roll up, nice and easy. And now you're going to go in and out, so knees into the chest and then out. Four arms are on the ground. Remember to breathe. Your abs will be getting tired by now. And that is our ab workout. For our stretch, we're going to start off on our hands and knees and tabletop and we're going to do some cat and cow. I find this very good exercise after workout. It really helps loosen up your back. It's also great to do first thing in the morning. So you're going to, And breathing is very important for this one. When you breathe in, you're going to arch your back and breathe out, you're going to be down. Now push back into a downward dog and pedal out your feet just to loosen up those hamstrings but before pushing back down your heels onto the ground make sure you're really really actively pushing back your hips pushing your heels into the ground so you really get the backs of those legs you also get your shoulders in the stretch now you're going to come forward onto your belly and you're just going to push up into what's called the seam stretch. Make sure you're relaxing your legs, your quads, so it really gets into the back. And really push your chest forward. Try not to tense your shoulders either, try to keep them away from the ears. And for any kind of stretch, it is so important to breathe, so just push back into a downward dog. Now you're going to stretch your hips so you're going to sit with one leg crossed over the other so ankle to knee. You're going to push the top knee down or you can put the knee knee to knee. I find that as a better stretch but that's just for me the important part of the stretch is you keep both your butt cheeks on the ground so one is shouldn't be tilted up 
and now for the other side, you can do knee to knee or you can do knee to ankle, whichever you feel a better stretch. And make sure to breathe and that is our stretch.